Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host Ali Hammer and today on the show we're joined with Michael Tremere, the machine learning lead from Max Kelson. Michael, thank you so much for being on the show today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about Max Kelson? Yeah, sure thing, Ali. Uh, Max Kelson has been around for a bit over five years now and we build uh, commercial and research machine learning and AI solutions. We're actually based in Fortitude Valley in sunny Brisbane, but we do work with clients all over Australia and the world, well, virtually now since COVID happened. Uh, and there's a couple of focuses for us in the business. The first is research. So things like using genomics techniques to find new cancer targets, uh, diagnosis of cancer of unknown primary, um, and we even have a quantum computing group, but please don't ask me to explain the things that they actually do. Um, and of course, we also have the commercial side of the business. So this is focused on building machine learning solutions for customers from all kinds of industries. We're actually blessed with a wide array of customers from with many different unique challenges, computer vision, natural language, forecasting, recommendations. So it's always really interesting work for us. Wow, that is so interesting. And you do say on your website that you are beyond AI. So what does this actually mean? It's a great question because it could mean anything, but it gets at something that's really important for us and something that we try and put a lot of effort into. Uh, machine learning has actually been around for a while now, and believe it or not, building cutting edge models has become a lot easier in the last couple of years, to the point where most machine learning engineers can actually build custom models that are very close to the state of the art. Um, the challenge has always you know, been, and it's not actually changed for most businesses, that the difficulty lies in actually integrating these brilliant models into a business and realizing the benefits. Building a model is usually the easiest part. It's actually the deployment, model maintenance and retraining and integrating it into existing processes, which kills most AI projects. So one of our big focuses is building and integrating the entire machine learning pipeline from data collection and engineering and building top class models through to scalable, reliable deployment and long-term maintenance and support for our customers. Uh, this means a lot of our uh, projects actually involve building entire web and iPad applications to wrap around the machine learning models under the hood. And it's quite exciting to, to see the end users use the application to help assist them with the boring and difficult stuff and let them focus on what they do best. Wow, I mean, you've recently been working on some pretty incredible cancer detection technology. So what an amazing project. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, definitely. Um, so if we think about this project, the, the foundation that we've been working on is really how do we help amplify research, giving those researchers more time and, and helping their research funding go further. So as for background for the project itself, here in Australia, skin cancer is a huge issue. It's our national cancer, unfortunately. And the team at QIMR Berghofer are looking at genetic and risk factors for skin cancer. So they've actually built a data set of clinical records and pathology reports to better understand the risk factors. Believe it or not, as much as the medical world is powered by data, a huge portion of it is unstructured, often in free text reports, and it's often very hard to interpret these given the complexity of medical terms and the language used. So the problem that we were looking to solve is how can we analyse a large amount of these pathology reports, that have over 43,000 in fact, and extract the key information from them. So things like the type of cancer, the location on the body, etc. So previously the team had actually done this manually, spending a huge amount of time, often years of their students' PhDs, to annotate the data and do this manually. Together, we asked the question, how can we use machine learning to help them focus on what they do best? So to do this, we actually worked with the team, we utilized text extraction and natural language techniques to automatically classify and extract the key information from these reports. We built some highly accurate models and data processing pipelines, uh, some with a Kappa score of 0.97, which as you'd be aware of, Ali, is actually on par or better than having a, a trained physician. And to make these usable for researchers, we then deployed the model within a web app with a user interface so that when researchers get a new batch of data, they can actually translate the contents from the documents into their research database really, really easily. And this has actually saved them huge amounts of time. It allows them that when they get a new batch of data, they can actually process this batch and get all the results, all the key information in hours rather than months of manual labor. This is so amazing. It actually sounds like something that could quite literally change the future of the healthcare industry. So how do you leverage the AWS cloud to create solutions for your customers as well? Yeah, sure. Um, look, AWS is a critical partner for us. Uh, they help us, you, you help us deliver solutions for our customers. Uh, most of our customers are already on or looking to move to the cloud and AWS is a fantastic mature platform um, to help us get our work out into the world 
and help our team focus their time on innovating and doing the machine learning rather than managing infrastructure and or building features and tools that are already available as services within AWS. We've actually worked really closely with AWS on development of a number of those services, things like SageMaker, Forecast, and the personalized teams and products, and have had fantastic support from AWS in helping our customers get great results. Um, we're also really proud to have just been awarded the AWS Partner of the Year for Data Analytics and Machine Learning in APAC, and looking forward to keep pushing what's possible in the AWS cloud. Michael, this is so incredible, and we are so thrilled that you did win that award. So for customers watching who would like to find out more about Max Kelson, how do they get in touch? Where do they go? Yeah, definitely. Um, look, we've got an amazing team of people dedicated to understanding our clients, the challenges they face, and helping to find the best and most appropriate solution for solving them, even if sometimes it's not the, the sexiest model. Uh, but the easiest way is to reach out via our website, LinkedIn, um, see how we can help where, where, yeah, we'd love to, to meet them and see how we can help. Michael, thank you so much for your time today. I really enjoyed this chat and we'll see you next time. Bye. No worries. Thanks, Ellie. Ciao.